Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Sean. And my name's Sean too. <laughs> yeah, thanks for introducing yourself. I hope everyone is healthy and happy wherever you are in the world. I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Why do you keep interrupting? Come on, man. Let your hair down. Why do you only tell bald jokes? Come on, man actually has two meanings. It can be used when you're trying to urge someone to do something, or it can be used when you refuse to believe something. Uh, in this case, it's the former. Uh, he's urging me to relax and enjoy, which is what let your hair down means. And I don't have hair, hence the joke. Now that that intro is out of the way, do you have any plans today? You can say out of the way when something is dealt with or finished. Um, no, I'm still in lockdown. Something you like to keep reminding me about. How about you? Oh yeah, sorry buddy, forgot all about that. Uh, I'm going to go watch a baseball game later. I hope every team does well. Each. What? You should have said I hope each team does well. Why? Because each is used when referring to two or more people or things. Every is used when referring to three or more th people or things. There are only two teams playing, so you should have used the word each in that sentence. Okay, so each and every cannot be used interchangeably? Wrong. If you're talking about something that is more than two people or things, you most certainly can use them interchangeably. For example, each team in the league needs to play well in order to advance to the playoffs. Or, every team in the league needs to play well in order to advance into the playoffs. Yeah, speaking of playoffs, I'm in a fantasy baseball league and the playoffs are coming up soon. So I like to check all the team stats each day. Every. What? You should have said, I like to check all the team stats every day. Why? Because every is used when you're talking about how often something happens. What player would you like an autograph from? I would like one of every. Each. What? Each can be used as a pronoun and every can't. You should say, I would like one of each. Each and every seem like a really hard nut to crack. That means a difficult problem or a difficult person. It's not that difficult, just remember what I taught you. Wait, you're me in the future. Shouldn't you already know this? Uh, yes, I'm you in the future. Something's fishy about the way you're acting. That means I think he's acting dishonest or false. Oh. What? Pardon? Did you say something? Never mind. Have you heard anything from our great-grandson since our last encounter? I have not seen hide nor hair. That means to not see someone or something for some time. That guy seems rotten to the core. That means that he thinks that uh, he's entirely evil. I'm not that... I mean, he's not that bad of a guy. Lay off the poor guy. That means he thinks I should stop bothering or criticizing him. Sounds like you have a soft spot for him. That means I think that he has a particularly strong feeling of tenderness towards someone or something. What's going on with your eyes? Let me have a gander. That means to have a look. Is this some sort of parlor trick? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications and go ahead and smash my face to subscribe to the channel. But not this face, that face. Thanks again, guys. Make sure you show some love down in the comment section. Peace.